All right. Hello, everyone. Now, this is getting exciting. The real rules of differentiation are finally in the house. So the first uh, section is about the product rule and the quotient rule. Uh, the idea is very simple to some extent. If you are doing differentiation on the sum or the difference of two functions, you're using the basic rule that says, well, just do the sum of the derivative or the difference of the derivative. But if you have a function that is a product, sadly, it's not the product of the derivatives. And it's the same thing for a quotient. If you have a function that is a quotient of two equations, it's not the quotient of the two derivatives. And be, be warned, if on a test I give you a function that is a product and you compute the derivative of the two terms and you just answer by multiplying those two derivatives, your mark will be zero. Okay, So you have to be able to see that this is a product or a quotient. And if you're wondering, hmm, what do I do if there's a product? Well, hello, there's a rule called the product rule. And if you have a quotient, there's a rule called the quotient rule. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the product rule. So suppose f of x is the product of two function. I like to use u and v for the two functions. So let's say f of x is u of x, so a first equation that we call u, times v of x, another equation that we call v. So what is the derivative of that function? Well, what you do is you compute the derivative of the first one, let's call it u prime, and you multiply it by v untouched plus, so there's a plus in between, u untouched times the derivative of the second one. So if f of x is u times v, then f prime is equal to u prime v plus u v prime. And the key here, if you have a harder time computing these things, is just to see that you have a product, label your first equation, call it u, label your second equation, call it v, compute u prime and v prime separately, typically using easier rules of differentiation, then combine the four formula, u v, u prime, v prime, using the product rule formula. So let's go. So our first function, so for our first example here, we have f of x, which is x squared times ex. And we see that this is the product of two functions. So the key thing here to do is to see that first. So we have the product of x squared multiplying ex. So let's call the first function u, so x squared, and the second function, let's call it v. So ex, and then what I do is I compute u prime. So for u prime, the derivative of x squared is 2x1 or 2x. And then v prime, I know ex goes to ex. So now that I have my four formula, I can finally have an answer for f prime. So f prime is u prime first. So you get 2x times the, the second function, so times ex. So as you can see, I like to put my derivatives in brackets just to make it clear. It really does not matter here. Plus the first function on touch times the derivative of the second one, so times v prime. And that's the result of your product rule. So here, just be careful. See that it's a product. Compute, label u, label v, compute u prime, compute v prime, and then combine correctly. All right, next example. So we have f of x, which is now, so my next example. So f of x is the square root of x multiplying ln of x. So again here, I have the product of two function. I'm going to call the first one square root. So because it is a square root, I'm going to use the corresponding power. So x to the power of 1 half, and v is ln of x. So when I'm computing u prime, here I'm dropping the, the x in bracket notation to make it simpler on myself. So u prime, I get 1 half times x, the 1 half minus 1, or minus 1 half, which is also known as 1 over root of 2. And by the way, just as a friendly remark, root of x is one of those functions that we differentiate so much in this class that if you just remember that the derivative of root of x is 1 over 2 root of x, you're a genius. Okay, so here we go for v prime. So we have ln of x, so it just becomes 1 over x. Now that I have my four 
formulas. I just combine them. So now F prime is U prime. So the derivative of the first one times ln of X plus the first function times the derivative of the second one. That's it. That's all. Maybe the function is simplified, but on a test, if you're just asked to apply the rules of differentiation to compute F prime, this is as good as it gets. Okay, just leave it like this. Don't try to simplify it. Move away from your equation. Typically, the more you try to play with it, the most likely it's going to be messed up. All right, so that's it for the product. Now let's move to the quotient rule. All right, after a product, the next natural formula is, of course, a quotient. So what is the quotient rule for differentiation? So you start with a function, which is u of x divided by v of x. So we have the quotient of two things. So the derivative of that function will be u prime times v minus, so now there's a minus in between u times v prime. So you can see here the numerator is very, very similar to the product rule. So that's something to remember. But the difference is that there's now a minus in between instead of a plus. But if you start with a quotient, you will end with a quotient. So it's over v squared. Okay, so you have to divide the whole thing by v squared. But again, the basic focus is to first see that you have the quotient of two formulas. So as soon as you see like a big fraction with a numerator and a denominator, it should go ding, ding, ding. This is a quotient. So label your numerator as u, label your denominator as v, compute u prime and v prime, apply the formula with your four formulas, and you're good to go. So all right, let's just jump into examples. So for the first example, suppose I have ex over x squared plus 1. So here the idea is I see that I have a quotient, so I'm going to call my numerator ex and my denominator x squared plus 1. So when I compute u prime, I get the derivative of ex is ex again. And then v prime derivative of x squared is 2x plus the derivative of 1, which is 0. So you just get 2x. Now that I have my four formula, that's it. That's all. So just be careful. So f prime. So it's u prime first. So you get ex times x squared plus 1. So times v minus u, which is ex first, times v prime, which is 2x. All of this, all of this is divided by v squared, so which is x squared plus 1 squared, which is not x4 plus 1, so just leave it like this. Don't take any time simplifying it. This is as good as it gets, okay? So this is perfect to show me that you know your quotient rule. So again, so next example, um, Suppose f of x is x minus 1 over x plus 1. Again, we have a quotient, so let u be x plus 1. And v is going to be x, sorry, x minus 1. Wait, 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 wait. Minus 1, sorry, you won't see the, the mistake here on your end. But anyway, so u is equal to x minus 1, and v is x plus 1. So when you're computing u prime, t derivative of x is just 1, or derivative of minus 1 is 0, so you're just getting a 1. And then for v prime, the derivative of x again is 1, and plus 1 goes to 0. Now I'm combining my four formulas. So for f prime, so it's u prime first, so 1 times x plus 1, so times v minus uh, u prime, which is 1 again. It's a different one, but it's a 1 times um, times times v, so times x, uh, sorry, <laughs> so it's u first, ah! so sorry, you're going to be hearing a lot of mistakes here, so minus u, so which is x minus 1 times v prime, which is 1, worst teacher ever, <laughs> so all of this over v squared, x plus 1 squared. You could leave it like this, but this one actually simplifies very nicely. If you multiply by 1 at the numerator with the x plus 1, you're going to get x plus 1. And then if you multiply by 1, the x minus 1, you're going to get minus x plus 1. So the x's will cancel each other. It's nice when the x's, they cancel each other. Wish it would work like that in real life, but whatever. So here you get x minus x, you get 0. 1 plus 1, you get a simple 2. 
and then all that over x plus 1 squared. Be careful, x plus 1 squared is not x squared plus 1. It's x plus 1 squared, okay, or x squared plus 2x plus 1, but be careful when you're foiling. All right, more, more, more. Okay, okay, okay. So next example, we have ln of x dividing, um, that is divided by 2ex plus 1. So again, here a quotient. My numerator is going to be ln of x. My denominator is 2ex plus 1. So u prime, my nice ln of x, that's a basic formula. It's 1 over x. And for v prime, you get 2 times ex. Because the ex goes to ex and plus 1, but voila, it goes to 0. Now I'm ready okay, for f prime. Hopefully I'll get it right now. So it's u prime first. So 1 over x times v, so 2 ex plus 1 minus u untouch, one of x times v prime, which is 2 ex. And all of that is being divided by v squared, so which is 2 ex plus 1. Put some brackets with a squared, no need to foil it, leave it like this. Bobby is happy. Okay, so that's a perfect way to show me that you know your quotient rule. Um, for all of these three first examples of quotient rule or the two first examples of product rule, the computations beyond u prime and v prime were basic. But in general, when you are computing a product rule or a quotient rule, what you have to do to compute u prime or v prime might involve a previous rule or another rule. So my second example, and this is where things gets a bit more trickier, um, because just a pure product rule or a pure quotient rule is not too bad. But in general, you have to apply more than one rule in the same question. So the next example is more like a, of a classic question where I have a function f that is initially a quotient of two things. So here we go. I have my u that is 3x minus 1. Nice linear function. The slope is 3. So the derivative is also 3. And then my denominator, v, is x cubed times ex. Uh-oh, it's the product of two things. So here, be very careful. I will need to use a product rule to compute v prime. So when I'm computing u prime, pas de problème. Okay, I'm just getting 3 here. But when I'm computing v prime, I have to use the product rule. I have the product of two things, and I have to do the product rule here. Now for that example, I'm just going to do it. The product rule, the way I like to do it is just by doing it. After you've done a bunch of examples, that's fine. So when I do the product rule, I just differentiate x cubed first, which will give me 3x squared times the second function, plus the first function on touch times d derivative of the second one. Ex goes to ex, and that's the result of my product rule. If you need to label another u, another v, or use two different letters to do it, do it. Okay, I don't care how you do it as long as you do it efficiently. This is initially a quotient rule where in the computation of E prime, I need a product rule. So now back to the quotient rule. So therefore, what is F prime? So it's the derivative of the first function, which is 3, times the second function, which is x cubed ex, minus the first function on touch, 3x minus 1, times the derivative of the second one, so the big fat one here, so 3x squared ex, cleaning the brackets here to make it slightly simpler, plus x cubed ex, close the bracket, all that over x cubed times ex squared, leave it like this. You can also write x6 times e to the power of 2x, but if you want to avoid like future headache using basic algebra, this is as good as it gets, okay? So uh, as long as you put the right formulas in the right spots, I'm going to be super happy. And this is like a good, good question. Two rules in one. This is a classic question for an evaluation. More, more, more. All right, one more where we're going to really combine those two things, those two rules together. So last example, we have f of x is, so we want to differentiate f of x which is, hello, f of x, which is x times ex minus ex over 
x times ln of x minus x. This is initially the quotient of two things. So here we go, numerator, you're going to be x times ex. So I'm putting some, some emphasis on the times here, minus ex. And then for v, I'm going to get x, I have, sorry, x times ln of x minus x. So I can feel it here in this question. For the first term, I'll need a product rule. Same thing for the first term for the second one. I'll need another product rule. So when I'm computing u prime, I'm applying the product rule on the first term. So the derivative of x is 1. So I'm getting 1 times ex plus the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second one, which is ex again. So the derivative of ex is ex, so x times ex. And then the ex alone, the minus ex alone, will be minus ex again. And here, just because I see it, the 1 times ex minus ex will cancel each other. This can be simplified if you see it. This can be simplified to x ex. So I'm going to use this for my final answer. Now again, for v prime. So same idea. The first term is a product. I need to differentiate x again. So you get 1 times the second function on touch plus the first function on touch times the derivative of the second one. So the second one is 1 over x. So ln of x goes to 1 over x. Allo. Ln of x goes to allo. <laughs> ln of x goes to 1 over x. And then minus x alone will become minus 1. Uh, so here again, if you see it, the x times 1 over x, the x will cancel each other. You'll get 1 minus 1. So this simplifies nicely. If you don't see it, don't worry too much. But if you can simplify your u prime and v prime quickly, if you see it, you know, like do it so that when you're going to combine those four formulas, it's going to be slightly easier. Again, here, I just want to make it clear which part are the result of the product rule. So those two terms were the result of the product rule, just like for u prime, those two terms were the result of the product rule. And the final answer that I have for u prime and v prime are just a result of simplification. But remember, we're still talking about f here. So what is f prime? So when you're computing f prime, always say f prime as if you're Optimus Prime and you're the leader of the Autobots. Anyway, so for f prime, the first formula is u prime. So you get x ex times v x on touch x ln of x minus x minus in between u on touch i mean the function u not u okay so x ex minus ex times uh, v prime and v prime here is a simple clean ln of x all that over <laughs> i lean back there all that over v squared so v is x ln of x minus x nice bracket there square it nice okay so that's your f prime u prime v minus u v prime over v squared and in the computations for that example of u prime and v prime i had to use the infamous product rule all right so for product rule and quotient rule that's it that's all Bye-bye,